Before the video starts, make sure to hit the like button and get into the Discord channel. Over 100 people in there now. We're building a community. Let's grow all together. Get in there. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another Subscriber League game. Round 6 continues on in today's game with the Tornado 3-1 going up against the 3-1 Thunder. Probably game of the round, the most interesting game um, I genuinely feel as uh, we look at the results from yesterday and the result and the game that will be happening tomorrow. So the Wolves were defeated by the Vikings by 7 points. Uh... We've got the Tornadoes and the Thunder today, and then last night, we on uh, Sunday, will be the final game, will be the Panthers and the Bulls. Also, stick around. There'll be an announcement at halftime regarding the Subscriber League series, so make sure to get ready for that. Um, it'll just give you guys a little bit of an update of what's going to happen and how we're going to fast-track this uh, this Subscriber League. So let's get into the teams. Uh, this is an important matchup for both teams. They've got an opportunity to go 4-1. and one. The Tornadoes have not lost since round number one, and the Thunder received their first loss last week. Uh, to the Panthers in a very tight and good game. So Tornadoes, 3-1, looking pretty good. Um, really nice lineup. Also, I had a few lineup requests for the Thunder. Now, I will change it next week because it's round 7, the start of uh, the games where everyone will play each other once again. So make sure to get ready for that. I actually think it might be round 8 that we'll do that, but get ready for that. This is round number 6. And uh, like I said, stick around for half time because there will be an announcement. This is the Thunder lineup. Um, they've been really good this season, so I'm interested to see how they will go today. Three and one, three and one tornadoes. Uh, we are starting to really push on in the in the subscriber league. It's starting to really get going. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into today's game. Round six action continues. And we've got the tornadoes going up against the Thunder, and our first ever game that's got a bit of wet weather football. So this should be interesting. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the subscriber league. Um, I've seen a few people yesterday saying that uh, it's heating up, and I mean it is. And I mean, this is all decided by the AI, um, so I'm interested to see just how well the Thunder go. The Thunder be the informed team of the, of the comp. Um, they lost their first game last week um, against the Panthers, and the Tornadoes have also been in really good form as well, so this should be a really good game. Probably one of the games of the round, I would say. Uh, we're moving on really, really fast. I've also got a new announcement that I will be making at half time, so make sure to look out for that. Uh, I'll be announcing something in relation to the subscriber league, so get ready for that. Um, and it also it will also lead us in probably uh, to to pushing towards the end of this subscriber league because it's season one, season two. There's going to be a lot of improvements. Player ratings will change. Uh, there'll be awards. There's going to be trades. All that good stuff. Um, and I know a lot of people have got a lot of questions for Season 2, but I will be releasing a video probably in the next week or in a bit, just how well it's going to go. We've also got the progression into the PS5, so we've got to build for that as well as uh, we get this game underway. It's the Thunder. It is the Tornadoes. Probably one of the games of the round. Whoever wins this, um, I have a feeling we'll be on top of the ladder, so we're underway. Out of the center we go. Here go the Tornadoes. The Tornadoes did have a good, nice win last week over the Sharks as Ethan, Ethan Walker takes a strong mark. Um, the Thunder are yet to lose a game at home. Um, this season, they had a really nice game uh, last week. I think it was against the Panthers, where the Panthers actually got the job done at Mars Stadium. So let's get this one underway. BTK takes a strong mark on the wing. So it's going to be interesting to see who uh, who gets the ascendancy in this game. Wet weather football, the first ever wet weather game I uh, have seen as Alistair takes a strong mark. Um, I don't know if that's going to affect uh, some things in this game. I don't know if it's going to affect the goal kicking and all that kind of stuff. But that's a beautiful kick from Alistair. Finds Friendy, and Friendy should go back and kick the first goal of the night. So. Uh, last night, we had the Wolves getting defeated by the Vikings. It's good to see the Vikings get back into it as Friendy loads up and hits the post. So, first score of the night goes to the Thunder, and it is a behind to Friendy. So, one behind plays zero. Um, so, like I said, I'll be doing a Season 2 entry uh, probably once Season 1 is close to finishing. So, maybe before the finals start, the week before the finals, we'll probably get into that. Uh, but, see, this is round number six. So... Like I said, at halftime, I'll be announcing something new for the series. As we see, the Thunder hits the post again, BTK. Wow, they uh, actually uh, have a couple opportunities early on in this match. But like I said, I'll be doing a uh, like a, an update video and letting you guys what is going to be happening. As uh, That's a nice kick in as Declan takes a mark for the Tornadoes. Uh, the Tornadoes have been good. They were blown out in round number one against the Vikings, and they've responded really, really well uh, since then. Here you go, the Thunder, though, looking good. Definitely looking like they're gonna, they're trying to uh, make up for last week. And a, a nice shot on goal from K16, and the Thunder are away in this matchup. So, like I said, uh, Thunder lost last week uh, to the 
Uh, who was it last week? They lost to the Panthers. It was the surprise win of the week as Nat Fife releases. And it definitely looks like they've come out here to prove a point. They go inside 50. Ball goes down. They've got the numbers yet again, but the Tornadoes can release and Dangerfield releases. Uh, that's a nice kick from Dangerfield. Finds Ben Bars up at the wing. Decides to go inside 50. They should get a mark here, the Tornadoes. And they do. Bunning Snag sneaking forward. He should go back here and he should kick the goal. Um, now, a lot of people are saying that uh, it's it's hard to pick who are going to win, but I feel like that's the best thing about the series. It's a lot of unpredictable things as Bunning Snag kicks the goal and the Tornadoes have their first goal of the night. One straight six plays, one to eight. I think that's like the best thing of the series. We've got a lot of unpredictability. That's what you want. You don't want it to be so... Uh, on the ball every single time as Nadav takes a strong mark for the Tornadoes. Every single team has a chance to win. Every single team has a chance for them bragging rights. Nice kick up the line, but Nat Five. Nat Five's been good early on in this game. Gives a little handball. Dangerous handball. Chris Judd, lovely hip and shoulder. Here you go, the Tornadoes. They're out. Try to get the kick away. Do I have to, oh, nice. I mean, the Thunder's defense is really good, but I tell you what, the Tornadoes have got two, and they've got two through Bo Nash. He kicks his, he kicks his first goal of the game. And the Tornadoes have their second. Two straight 12 plays, 1-8. What a good start to this game early on. I mean, uh, the Thunder were undefeated uh, after last week. And uh, they got beaten. And you can definitely tell this Tornadoes team is bringing it. As they go inside 50. They're out the back here. The uh, Thunder. Can they get a goal here? Ball goes down. And we're going to get a ball up in the Thunder attacking 50. Dangerous zone for the Tornadoes. Ball goes down. Lovely tap down. Fife's there, but the Tornadoes can release. Dangerous handball. Fife gets the handball away. Another handball. This is extremely dangerous, the Tornadoes. Good tackle from Dangerfield, and now the Tornadoes can release. They go up the middle of the ground. Lovely looking kick. Ben Bars takes a mark. Oh, they're pushing the back. So free kick to the Thunder. They go inside. Dangerous though. This is where they this is where they need to move the ball in because the Tornadoes are so good from this possession. And, you, and I tell you what, they've done it again. They load up inside 50 and Cameron Riley takes a strong mark. So Cameron Riley all alone inside 50. He can go back and kick, he, kick the Tornadoes third goal. This is for a 10-point lead. I mean, this is a statement. Loads up and he has hit the post. So, I mean, maybe the wet weather is causing these players because normally they kick these goals. Um, in the dry. So 2 1 13, the Tornadoes to the Thunder. 1 2 8. The uh, Thunder bring the ball in. Dangerous kick in. Tornadoes, high tackle, and they get another shot on goal here. I mean, Thunder have had a lot of the possession. It's just been the Tornadoes have just been a little bit more effective uh, every time they've gone inside 50. So this is going to be big here. Loads up. 45 meters out. And he snuck it home. So Zach Grant kicks the goal, and the Tornadoes jump out to a nice little lead now. Out to an 11 point lead. Things are looking okay for the Tornadoes, but we know that how good the Thunder are. Uh, and I'm sure they're going to bounce back. Back in the center we go. Chris Judd pushing the back. Another free kick to the Tornadoes. I mean, they have been the informed team of the league so far. And I'll tell you what, they've come to play today. And out the back here, it's going to be extremely dangerous. Lovely tackle there from uh, as Caden gets wrapped up. We're going to ball up here at the 50-meter mark for the uh, Thunder and the Tornadoes. Here goes Snap Five handballs over top. And also, I did see a lot of requests about changing the lineups. That will happen next week because it's the mid-year break. We'll do next week as the changes for some sort of teams. But here go the Thunder. Loading up off the halfback. We know they like to run off halfback. They've got a really nice back line. Get out of the way, they say. But throwing the ball is Caden Atkinson and the Tornadoes here. Decide to run on. Lovely handball here. Go inside 50. Dangerous for the Thunder. Ball goes down. Tornadoes. They've got the numbers. But lovely defense there. I think that might have been Caden there out of the back line. And he launches that one. Strong mark there from... I think that's Justin, like a J-X-S-T-I-N. That's a lovely kick out wide. Almost an opportunity. Tornado's back line just holding up at the minute. And look at that. Get out of the way. Dangerous kick though inside. That is going to be extremely dangerous. Ball goes down. Out the back opportunity. And we're going to get a ball up here in the middle of the ground. 3-1-19 plays 1-2-8. Ball goes down. Opportunity. For the uh, voice crack as it goes inside 50 for the Tornadoes. Can they get a mark? Ball goes out the back. They've got the numbers. Could they run on here? Almost should have just kicked off the ground then, I reckon. Probably should have just kicked off the ground. They've got the numbers, though. This is going to be a dangerous kick. This will be extremely dangerous. Beautiful uh, defense here from the Thunder. And we're going to get this one out of bounds. We're going to get a throw in. 25 minutes have gone in this opening term. 1-2-8, the Thunder. 3-1-19, the Tornadoes. Like I said, big announcement coming at halftime. So get ready for that. That will be big as Flynn Cripps gives away the free kick to Nat Fife. And now Nat Fife can settle. So I've seen a lot of people saying, uh, how are we going to get the season finished? It's it's not going to be finished till December. Like I said, massive announcement coming up at, at halftime. As we head into quarter time here, nice little lead for the Tornadoes. An 11-point lead over the Thunder. Thunder 1-2-8 to the Tornadoes, 3-1-19. Some good football so far. Nat 5, 4 disposals. Eye on the GOAT, 2 disposals. Friendy, 3 disposals. And K16's got the goal for the Thunder. I mean, it's, pretty, it's been a pretty good opening term from, um, from both teams. Chris Judd, 5 disposals in the middle. But the 3 single goal kickers for the Tornadoes. And they lead by 11 points. 
Big second quarter coming up. I mean, it's interesting. This game has been pretty good so far. It's been pretty hot, been pretty contested. Not too sure he's actually going to win this. I mean, like I said, uh, the Thunder are a really good team, but so are the Tornadoes. This is probably one of the matches of the round as Patrick Dangerfield throws the ball. So Nat Fife's going to get the free kick inside 50. Goes in. Beautiful kick. Oh, I should have took the mark there. Out the back. Tornadoes can release the pressure, and they do. Nice little kick. Dangerfield one out, and that's a good mark there from the Devastator. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how the finals go down when that happens. I mean, we're at round six. There is 14 rounds in the season because every single team will play each other twice. It just gives everyone the opportunity to get into that top five and play in the finals. But here go the Thunder. Probably the uh, they were the best team last week because that's a nice mark. Got to chip it here. Lovely chip. They can play on here. Joel Rama kicked a few goals this season. Settles. Settles and goals. So nice goal there from the Thunder. Good response early on in this term. I knew they'd come out hard, and that was a lovely goal there. 2-2-14, the Thunder to the Tornadoes. 3-1-19. Back in the middle we go. The Thunder looking dangerous. Fife out of the middle again. Beautiful kick out wide. Oh, good spoil there from the from the uh, Tornadoes defense. And now the Tornadoes can release. Ball goes up the line. Beautiful kick up the line it goes. Ball goes down. Ethan Walker takes a mark. He's had a pretty good season, Ethan Walker. Goes inside 50. Dangerous kick inside 50. Ball at the back. And Speedy takes a strong mark. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, season two entry will probably open maybe like round 10. And it'll just give me time to uh, get everyone into it and get give me time to really get into it. But Paddy Dangerfield has a bounce and kicks a lovely goal. Patrick Dangerfield, the captain for the Tornadoes, comes out and kicks a lovely goal. Big goal there for the uh, Tornadoes. Have a look at this. Has a bounce in the wet weather, if you don't mind. One bounce, runs in, and kicks a lovely goal. So a little bit of breathing space here for the Tornadoes. Uh, things are looking good. We do have one more game before the end of round six, and that is tomorrow, and that is the Panthers and the Bulls. So get ready for that. As the Thunder trying to respond here, and Zach Reed, he gets held up. 25 plays 14 early on in this second term. Good game of football so far. Ball goes down. Opportunity for the Tornadoes. They run it out of the back line. Beautiful kick. Here we go. This is dangerous. They've been really good in the back line, the Thunder. And I'll tell you what, they're going to do it again. Beautiful release. I don't know if Caden Kade, there maybe with the release. Beautiful kick up the line, but Bo Nash is there for the mark. Oh, the Tornado's just hanging on at the minute. They're playing some really nice footy. And I tell you what, they're away here again. Beautiful chip inside. Almost goes down. Opportunity for the Tornadoes. And throwing the ball is Cameron Riley. So Thunder can settle here. Uh, yeah, so Season 2 entries will be opening very soon. So if you've got any mates who are not in this subscriber league, make sure to let them know because we're going to try and make it bigger and better. Depending on how many people join, there will be two, te two extra teams. And that's a lovely goal there from Flynn Cripps. Tornado starting to create a little bit of a buffer right now. Really starting to get away in this match. They kick their fifth goal of the game. 5-1-31 to the Thunder. 2-2-14. Back in the center we go. Things are looking dangerous for the Thunder. They need the next goal. And they go inside 50. And I tell you what, Joel Rama takes the mark. He is definitely in contention for an All-Australian spot. Beautiful kick inside and great intercept there from Leroy, who comes across and cuts it off. Leroy goes up the line. Nice kick to Brandy. Brandy takes the mark on the wing. Brandy swings the ball. Lovely kick inside. Judd come across. Gave away a stupid free kick. And now the Thunder can get this one back. I mean, they need a goal. Nice kick. That is a dangerous kick. Oh, that's a nice mark there from Zach Reed. I mean, the Thunder do move the ball well. I'll give them that. Zach Reed loads up here. Nice looking kick. It should bounce the right way, and it hits the post. It almost got to their full forward. I think it might have been Mitchell Robertson. And that one goes through for a behind. 2 3 15, plays 5 1 31. Kick goes in. Danny Boy takes the mark for the Thunder. He decides to intercept, decides to go in line. Beautiful kick in, and Zach Reed will get another opportunity to kick a goal for the Thunder. So, this is to bring the game back within 10 points. This is to make it extremely interesting. They need it. They needed it, and he got it. So nice goal there to Zach Reed. A couple of little efforts there in the last two minutes, and they're right back in this matchup. 3-3 plays 5-1. Six scoring shots apiece from both teams. It's just the uh, the Tornadoes have been just a little bit more, uh, a little bit more, I'd say, better on the on the effective side of the game. But get out of the way. Here they go, the Tornadoes. Every single time, every single time the Thunder have got back in the game, the Tornadoes have answered, and here go the Thunder outside the back line. Lovely kick up the line. Alistair takes the mark, decides to play on. Nice looking chip. They're moving the ball well at the minute. The Thunder. BTK goes inside 50. Dangerous, but that's a nice intercept mark there from Speedy Red. And now Speedy Red can settle for the uh, Tornadoes. Speedy Red goes out wide. Not nice looking kick. Dangerous. Here go the Tornadoes. Ball goes up the line. Dangerous kick inside. Ball to ball to be won. And I tell you what, Nat Five spins out of trouble. Goes inside 50. Dangerous. And nice mark there from Mitchell Robertson. And Mitchell Robertson can bring this game back within four points. What a, uh, what a top to turvy game. I mean... This is what you want. This is what you want uh, in the best teams. And Mitch Robertson kicks the goal. So back to a four-point game. Uh, it's definitely heating up in this one. 
heading into half time. And like I said, we'll be doing announcements, so get ready for that at half time. Maka gets the tap down. Dangerous. Chris Judd. Thunder looking good now in this term, starting to get themselves back in the game. And I tell you what, they might be able to get a goal here at the back. Chris Judd can't apply the tackle, but the ball goes back to the Thunder. And here you go, the Tornadoes through the middle of the ground. Lovely handballing here. They just need to kick the ball. I mean, they're definitely over handballing at the minute in the wet weather. And it's not going to pay off because the Thunder might get another opportunity. And Mitchell Robertson takes a strong mark. So Mitchell Robertson can kick his second of the term. And this would be big. I mean, kicks this goal. This is his second of the term. This is to give them the lead heading into halftime. Mitchell Robertson loads up. Looks good off the boot. Is good off the boot. So two early goals uh, in this game to Mitchell Robertson. And now the Thunder have the lead. So they're fought back. I mean, uh, look at the last goals. They've been all over this Tornadoes team in the last five minutes of this game. And Maka goes out in the middle of the game. One out here. Dangerous. And K16 takes the mark. So what a turnaround. What a turnaround in this game. The Thunder. Have the opportunity to get a nice little lead heading into halftime. Uh, I've seen a lot of people ask me about the finals, where the finals will be played. That's a nice goal there to K16. The grand final will be played at the MCG. Uh, so no uh, no home bias or anything like that. So if the Vikings make it, they could have a home final at the MCG. That's the only home final they'll get if they do get there. Well, that's the only home team will get the grand final. Uh I'd say home away. But I tell you what, this Thunder team is looking very good at the minute. And they're applying all sorts of pressure. But have a look at that spin from the Tornadoes. They clear the ball. 39 plays 31. Tornadoes need the next goal. And they do get the ball up towards their 50. Ball goes up. And that is the end of the first half. A really good first half. I mean, topsy-turvy first half. Tornadoes came out, had a nice little lead at quarter time. And then the Thunder responded. And now the Thunder have a nice little lead. I mean, this is going to be a really good second half. 6-3-39 to 5-1-31. Nat Fife has seven. Eye on the goat. I mean, like I said, definitely contention for the All-Australian. Nathan Buckley's got four. Robertson's got two. K16 has two. Zach Reed has one. For the Tornadoes, Chris Judd's got five. Nadav's got five. Brandy's got four. Dangerfield's got one. Bunning Snag's got one. And Bone Ash has got one. So, uh, the announcement that I was talking about. So, a lot of people have been saying, oh, if we follow the suit of this subscriber league, it's not going to finish uh, until the uh, end of... Uh, how do you put it? The end of uh, December. So it's like close to December. December 14th would be the final round of the season. So um, I am announcing in today's video that uh, starting potentially this week, there will be uh, two, there'll be probably two games streamed on a Wednesday night. So there'll be two games back to back. It'll be a double, it'll be a double header um, of a round. And then the next night you'll get the last game of the round and then we'll do the weekend games and then we'll do it again. So we're going to try and fast track this fast track the season. It's just going to make, uh, the, I'd say the overall experience a lot quicker. We'll be able to get more people in for season two. So round seven, will kick off on probably Wednesday night. It will be a double header. So look out for that. Um, two games back to back. And then on Thursday night will be the final game. And then we'll have a double header on, uh, probably Friday, it's, it's either going to be Tuesday night or Wednesday night, the doubleheader is. And then, it's just so on Saturday, we have nothing on for the grand final. The grand final's at night, so there'll be nothing on for the grand final night. Um, I'll leave that to you guys to go out and, and watch the granny. It's just so we can have people watching. So, probably on it's probably going to be a big week on the channel. So, get ready for a big week on the channel as we get uh, into this second half. Massive week on the channel. Let's get into this second half. Second half underway. Interesting matchup. I hope you guys have liked the announcement how we're going to have a double uh, subscriber league footy frenzy. It should be a lot of fun. It's just so we can get the subscriber season two underway as Speedy Red takes a good mark for the Tornadoes in the back line. So sides go up the line. So uh, if you see the game, if, if let's say let's say some people miss the announcement, they see the game pop up, just make sure to remind them what's going on. The, the, the season's going to be fast-tracked now. We had the first uh, six rounds, seven rounds of the uh, proper games, but then the, the rest are going to be fast-tracked. So you're probably seeing a few games during the week just to get the games finished, just to get uh, the subscriber league done. Because like I said, PS5's dropping. I want to get season two underway so we can lead into Christmas and you guys have something to watch um, with no football on and all that good stuff. But... Uh, we've got season one at the minute, and it's looking extremely dangerous for uh, for both teams here. Both teams playing some really nice football. But here go the Thunder. They should get a goal here, and hits the post. K16, he's had a few opportunities in this game. He hits the post. 6 4 40, the Thunder to 5 1 31. Ball comes in. Nice mark there to Brandy. And Brandy can just settle for the Tornadoes. Decides to switch out wide. Dangerous. Opportunity here for the Thunder. They're applying all sorts of pressure. They're trying to kill this game, and I'll tell you what, they've got another one. They have another one. Friendy kicks the goal. And they skip out here to a nice little lead here. 7-4-46 to 5-1-31. 
They've definitely owned, uh, I'd say, the possession ever since probably the first quarter. They've been all over this uh, Tornadoes team. And I tell you what, they are on their way at the minute, the Thunder. Maybe the, th I mean, the Panthers upset them last week. They, I knew they would respond. Here they go, here go the Tornadoes, though. Up the middle of the ground, opportunity. Ball goes out the back. Chris Judd applies a strong tackle. Nat Fife's there. Nat Fife says, get out of the way. Beautiful handball. And look at that handball from Nat Fife. My God, that was beautiful. And look at the play from the Thunder. I mean, they're moving the ball so well. And they go inside 50. Nat Fife, oh, I was about to say Nat Fife, take a bow. But there's still an opportunity to go here. And we're going to get a ball up here outside. I'd say about 25 meters out from the uh, Thunder goal. Nat Fife again. Fife again. Nat Fife has been absolutely everywhere in this second half so far. He's got nine disposals. And he's kicked a lovely goal here. So 52 plays 31. They've started to really get on top here now, the Thunder. And they get out to a 21-point lead. Tornadoes need to respond here. But they've got the team to do it. Um, they definitely can score fast, and they need the next center clearance. Can they get it, though? The Thunder looking good. Ball goes out the back. Chris Judd's there. Nat Fife again. My God, Nat Fife's been absolutely everywhere. Thunder there. Look at the ball just messling around here, and Fife releases finally for the Thunder. Goes up the middle of the ground. Opportunity, and nice mark there to Riley. I mean, the Tornadoes need the next goal. They don't get the next goal. This is going to be extremely dangerous. It's going to be hard for them to, to win this game as the uh, Tornadoes go inside 50, and out the back, they have the numbers. The Thunder and the Thunder can release. They can settle. And they do. They go up the line. Beautiful kick. Opportunity for the Thunder. And Shane Crawford gets tackled. So, yeah. Well, I don't know where this game's going to go. I mean, the Thunder are just... I just don't see how the Tornadoes get back into this. It's been all Thunder. And I tell you what, they're not done yet. They go inside 50. Mitch Robertson should take this. Oh, my opportunity. Good intercept there. Come off his man there, I think. And high tackle from Shane Crawford. And the uh, Thunder are going to get an opportunity to get another scoring shot here. Who is on Nathan Buckley? I can see Nathan Buckley there. Dangerous kick. Oh, in the back. Nauda, 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 Nauda. What are you doing? You got to... I mean that was dangerous. This is uh this is extremely dangerous now for the uh for the uh tornadoes because I tell you what that's a lovely kick and Zach Reed can go back and extend their lead. So wet where the football finally in the sub league and I tell you what Zach Reed has kicked the goal. So they've got out to a big big lead now, maybe a match winning lead. I, I, it's going to be tough to see this uh, tornadoes team fight back. I mean, I, I definitely feel like they can fight back. I'm not, I'm not putting them out of it. I'm not definitely not saying they're, they're done yet. But here go they, here go the uh, Thunder again. Look at the handballs. Look at the handballing from the Thunder. Good defense there from the Tornadoes, and they can release. They need the next goal, the Tornadoes, to be any chance in this match. But they just can't get it past halfway at the minute. I mean, it's been all Thunder. That's got to be holding the ball. Look at the pressure from the Thunder. And I tell you what, loading up here, beautiful kick inside. Buckley takes a mark. You, you, you can definitely tell that they uh, they lost last week. Buckley goes inside 50, and Robertson goes with the one hand. Probably should have went with two, but I tell you what, off the ground, Rama goal. Joel Rama kicks a goal, and I'm telling you what, this could be it. That, that could be the fat lady singing. It has been all thunder since probably the, I'd say, 10-minute mark of the second term, and they've really set up a match-winning lead at the moment. Tornadoes need the next center clearance. Chris Judd, he's going to get it. He goes inside 50. One out in the goal square, and a big mark there from Ben. So Ben's got to kick this. This is against the flow. Has to kick the goal. This is to give them a just give them a little bit of a chance. He needs to kick it. Got to kick it. Does kick it. So, I mean, it's 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 going to be tough for the tornadoes to get back into this. I mean, it's only they need five. I mean, they need probably like six six unanswered goals to be a genuine genuine chance to win this match. Can they do it? I mean, they're 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 top of. I'm pretty sure the tornadoes are on top of the ladder, or they're they're close to the top of the ladder with the wolves after the wolves lost yesterday. Is pushing the back free kick to the thunder. Um, this could be, I mean, this could, this could be a real game game setting um, win if the uh, Thunder can go on with this. I mean, they've got a nice little lead. They've only lost the one game of the season. Now, how is that 15? Danny Boy takes the mark, gets the benefit of the doubt, goes inside 50, and K16 can't get their ball at the back. Tornadoes can release now. So it's going to be interesting to see who holds this match. I mean, the Thunder are looking really good as a push in the back free kick. The Tornadoes, if they get one more goal before uh, three-quarter time, they could be a chance, but that's not going to help there. That's an intercept in the middle of the ground. BTK goes up. Beautiful kick inside. Mitch Robertson's there. Can go off the ground. Decides not to go off the ground. Now the Tornadoes can release. Uh, I'm interested to see how the NBA sub-league goes. I mean, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I'll probably release a video, I'm thinking maybe tomorrow, maybe, uh, where I'll basically just keeping the entry thing open, letting everyone know. I've also decided that will be on the PS5, so get ready for that. Tornadoes, though, looking dangerous. Can they get one before? Like I said, three-quarter time and a nice nice kick and fearless Nick. This is a massive kick. This is a huge kick. He kicks this goal, and they are back in this, I'm telling you. It's only a 21-point game if he can kick this goal before three-quarter time. Loads up. No one's on the line. This is going to go through, and it does. Nice goal there from fearless Nick. They needed that goal. 
I mean, maybe, just maybe, this uh, Tornadoes team can run over the top of them in this last term. It's going to be a real big last term as it's a 21-point lead to the Thunder going into the final term on a wet Saturday night here at Giant Stadium, Thunder's home ground, who have not lost a game here. So 10-4-64, the Thunder to the Tornadoes, 7-1-43. Nat Fife's got 10 disposals, really being the barometer. Kicked the goal in that term. Uh, Nathan Buckley's got eight, BTK six, Zach Reed's kicked two, and we look over at the uh, Tornadoes. The Devastator's got seven, Leroy's got six, Chris Judd's got six, Dangerfield's got one, and Bunning Snag has also kicked one. Massive last term coming up here. Interesting to see what happens with these teams. Can the Tornadoes get back into this? Can I mean, they kicked the last two goals of that term, so it'll be very interesting. Big center clearance here, and throwing the ball is BTK. So free kick to the Tornadoes. Nice kick. Jaden Nelda takes the mark in the middle of the ground. Decides to play on. Beautiful kick inside. Almost an opportunity. They got the mark. Fearless Nick got it. He's kicked the goal, so they've kicked the last three goals. Fearless Nick has two in a row, and I tell you what, this... Uh, Tornadoes team are right back in this. Back in the middle we go. Can the Tornadoes run over the top of this Thunder team? Ball goes down. Opportunity. Tornadoes are definitely pushing here. Chris Judd gets tackled. Another opportunity for the Tornadoes. Thunder can release. A couple of handballs here and they are away. So, I mean, they just need to settle here, the uh, Tornadoes. I mean, even the Thunder. The Thunder just need to settle. Three minutes have gone in this term. It's been all Tornadoes now. 49 plays 64. They go inside 50. Opportunity for a mark and almost at the back. They've got the numbers. We're going to get a ball up. We're going to get a ball up. Ethan Walker gets tackled. Back we go. Maka gets the tap down. Ball goes down. Fife's there. He gets ripped up by Chris Judd. Here come the Thunder. Ball goes down. Goes to Buckley. Has a bounce. Beautiful kick inside. Dangerous kick. And Speedy Red takes a strong mark. Tornado's just holding on here. I mean, the Thunder have gone... I think they've gone to sleep. I mean, I, I, I said they had a match-winning lead. And now this Tornadoes team has fought back. They go up the line. Beautiful kick. Dangerfield can't get there, but out the back off the ground. That's what you need. Get the ball forward in wet weather conditions. Thunder messing about with it here. And it almost comes off Dangerfield. Handballs backwards. Why are you handballing backwards? Here go the Tornadoes. They go inside, almost inside 50. Ball's going to go to the line. Ball goes down. Opportunity for the Tornadoes. They have the numbers. They've got the numbers. Can they finish it? Ball. Look at this. Look how tight this game is, how contested. But I tell you what. I tell you what, that one has snuck home and the, tor the Tornadoes are back in this. I mean, they've kicked the last, what, four goals of the match and they are right in this game. 55 plays 64. I knew this game would go right down to the wire. Both teams are very good. Dangerfield gets tackled. Out of the center go the Tornadoes. Lovely kick inside. Beautiful defense there, though, from the Thunder. They're trying to hold on. They're holding on for dear life. But the Tornadoes go. Have they got another opportunity? Have they got more in them, the Thunder? Can the Thunder hold on? And Speedy takes the strong mark. He decides to switch the ball. Dangerous kick. But that's a nice kick as Josh takes the mark for the Thunder. 64 plays 55. Chips it in. Intercept here. Bunning Snag takes the mark. 10 minutes have gone in this game. They've been involved in a few close ones, the Tornadoes. And I tell you what, Ethan Walker takes the mark. They are, about, they are so close here. They go inside 50 and a big mark there from Ben. He started it all in that third term and he can kick it here. If he kicks this goal, it is back to a three-point game. Can he do it? Ben loads up, got the goal. They are right in this match now. I, I can't believe how, how, how far they've come back in this match considering how far they were behind. It is only a three-point game. This is going to go right down to the wire. 61 plays 64. It's over to the Thunder now. Fife. The captain, we needed something out of him. He gets driven into the turf by Dangerfield. They're now, everything the uh, everything the Thunder do, they're just under pressure. And you see here the Tornadoes, they're starting to get on top. I mean, if the Tornadoes win this, it would probably be one of the, the wins of the season. But Fife takes a strong mark, goes in, and in the back speed, he gives away the free kick. And here is an opportunity for... I actually don't know who actually gave away that free kick. I don't think it was Speedy, but this is huge. This is the, for a bit of breathing space. Lines up, hasn't got the legs. We'll go right to the line, and Speedy takes the mark on the line. He decides to go up the middle. Dangerous, and K16 intercepts. K16 can give them a nine-point lead, give them a bit of breathing space. They need this goal. I mean, their backs have been right against the wall this last, like, 10 minutes, and he has got the goal, so that is big. Can the Thunder hold on? It is a nine-point lead. 70 plays 61. Back in the center we go. Razor Ray throws the ball up. Ball gets tapped down. Opportunity here for the Thunder. Fife in the middle of the ground gets tackled. Thunder can seal it here. They load up in the goal square. Massive opportunity. But Brandy. Brandy is strong and he takes a big mark. Decides to switch the ball. Nice looking kick to Jaden. So it brings the ball in. Dangerous for the Tornadoes. They really need to try and hold on here. I mean, one more goal and they're still in it. And we're going to get a ball up here. Nat Fife returning to the bench. 
Who wins it from here? 70 plays 61. Ball back up. Here we go. Back live. Thunder get the next goal. It's going to be extremely tough. And I tell you what, out the back they roll. They've got the numbers. We're getting another ball up here. Fearless Nick. He is tackled to the ground. We've got a ball up back in the ruck. We go. Ball goes down. Opportunity for the Tornadoes. Can they release? Get out of the way, he says. Dangerous handball. Get Look at, look at the fence off. Beautiful handball. This is to seal the deal. Game's over. Thunder are going to win this. I think the Thunder are going to run on and win this game. Massive goal there from Alistair. And I'm telling you, this game could be finished. That one hurts. I mean, the Tornadoes will now fall to four, uh, three and two. Chris Judd, though, I mean, they've got, I mean, probably three more minutes left in this game for them to get a little bit of a charge on. They go inside 50. One more chance. Ball goes down. And I tell you what, that could be it. So the, the Thunder are going to go to four and one on the season. Uh, the Tornadoes are, th are three and two. They will still stay in the top five. The top five is very tight um, at the minute. So they're still right there. Uh, let's see if the Thunder can put a little bit of icing on the cake as they go inside 50 and Speedy gives away the free kick. So another opportunity here for the Thunder to extend their lead. Wow, this, I mean, we're, we're in round number six. We've only got one more game left. Like I, I had that announcement at halftime, which was basically telling you guys what's going to happen with the series. Uh, there'll be games during the week now. Um, it's not only just going to be the weekend, um, as that's a nice goal there from Morsey. 82 plays 61. Back in the center we go. Razor Ray throws the ball up. And uh, they are home now, the Thunder. They're going to they're gonna win their fourth game of the season. Um, really nice play, though, from the, uh, the Tornadoes. They fought back in this game. They didn't let them just run over the top of them. But I tell you what, uh, this Thunder team will now roll on. And they're going to win another one. I mean, they've only lost one game for the entire season. They're probably the best team in the league so far. I mean, it's very tough. And they get another one here. They load up and another goal coming up. Future AFL Goat kicks it. They are home. Uh, another win for the Thunder. What a game of football this one has been. And uh, they get 14 goals. Pretty high-scoring game in the wet. It's a really, uh, it was a really wet weather game. And now we've got one more game left in the subscriber league for round number six, and that is the Panthers and the Bulls. Um, like I said, I'll be releasing a NBA subscriber league video in the next couple of days, just to let you guys know what's going on as the siren sounds and the Thunder get the job done. Big win for the Thunder. Also, I accidentally, uh, due to I think it was like recording issues, uh, you guys will just see in a sec. Uh, as a big win for the Thunder, 14 488 to 10 161. All right, so I had some recording issues. Um, I accidentally had I accidentally skipped over. I did not get my voice for this final uh, minute and 20. I accidentally skipped over my voice. So you guys are not going to be able to see the stats for, for the game, uh, but um, I'll fix that up. So these are this is the win for the Thunder, 14 488 to 10 161. I hope you guys enjoyed the subscriber league. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I accidentally skipped over the goal kickers and stats, so I am sorry about that. Uh, but you guys will be able to see like the major goal kickers uh, in a sec. So uh, get ready for that as that rolls through. Thunder win the game. Nat 5, 12 disposals. K16 kick 3. Zach Reed kick 2. Joel Rama 2. Ben Bars 2. Fearless Nick 2. Danger Field 1. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, the Thunder roll on. They are now top of the ladder. To clear 16 points. Panthers and Bulls will round out round 6 tomorrow. And then we've got some games during the week. So a massive week on the channel. Make sure to hit the like button. And hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay blessed.